what is up you dudes and do that today we're going to be sorting me into a hogwarts house on pottermore together with ace apparently because she decided to jump on my lap <laughs> i don't know why it's a cameo i suppose i don't know how long she's going to be here i'm not promising anything i'm not going to give you your money back if she's not there anymore in the end of the video um have you ever sorted yourself in pottermore have you? Let me know. I'm curious. Are you from your Slytherins? I don't know. Um, what do I think will be my house? Um, the sorting ceremony, answer truly, or the sorting hat by J.K. Rowling. Oh, just begin the experience, I think. Uh, I would like to say Slytherin. Uh, I think I'm gonna get a Hufflepuff or something. Forest or river? I, let's go with river, I suppose. This seems a bit random. After you have died, what would you like people to do when they hear your name? Miss you, but smile. <laughs> You're going to kiss me, Ace. Ask for more stories about your adventures. Think with admiration about your achievements. I don't care what people think of me after I'm dead. It's what they think of me while I'm alive that counts. Um, can I jump back with that? No. Uh, Think with admiration about my achievements. I didn't achieve that much in my life. I'm not really a person that does a lot. <laughs> She's just, oh my God. She wants to play. This is her way of seducing me to play. Ask for more stories about my adventures. No, I don't really have much adventures either. Mischief is smart. I think that wouldn't be the best one. Which of the following would you most like to study? Centaurs, goblins, merpeople, ghosts, Vampires, werewolves, trolls. Absolutely ghosts. I mean, it would be fucking proof that there's afterlife, wouldn't it? They did talk a lot though. Four boxes are placed before you. Which would you try and open? The small tortoise shell box embellished with gold. Inside which some more small creature seems to be squeaking. I might just open it to release the creature, but then again, it's... There's probably a reason why it's in there, if I'm in the Harry Potter universe. A gleaming jet black box with silver lock and key, marked with a mysterious rune that you know to be the mark of Merlin. Sounds like something good would be in there. The ornate golden casket, standing on clawed feet, whose inscription warns that both secret knowledge and unbearable temptation lie within. No, let's leave that one closed. A small pewter box, unassuming and plain, with a scratch message upon it that reads, I only open only, I open only for the worthy. What does worthy mean? Like fucking Harry Potter kind of worthy? Like, are oh, you selfless or whatever, or like evil? No, that's too much of a gamble. I will go with the one that I'm probably going to get open, this one. I mean, the creature's probably inside the box for a reason. I mean, I've seen the films. You like part two? Oh, hello, Aishi. You're very adorable. <laughs> a troll has gone berserk in the headmaster's studio at a, a study at Hogwarts. It's about to smash, crush, and tear several irreplaceable items and treasures. In which order would you rescue these objects from the troll's club? Club, if you would. This one is a bit of a troll biting me. God damn. Oh, I shouldn't. Oh, I shouldn't bat her. I'm just promoting it. <laughs> First, a nearly perfect cure for dragon pox. Then, students' records going back thousands of years. Finally, a mysterious handwriting book, written book full of strange runes. Uh, uh, I would go with the cure, probably. Uh, I don't think the records are that important. I mean, they're done on the school already. Probably most of them are dead. Uh, I think this one, yeah. I think this one, if Dragon Box is like that problematic, and if it's all like the kill is there. If you were attending Hogwarts, which pet would you choose to take with you? Oh, there's a lot of options. Siamese cat, different kinds of cat. Definitely not a cat, That that's for sure. Tiny owl, screech owl, brown owl, owl, sorry, owl. Snowy owl, barn owl. I'm not going to pick the snowy one because then you're just copying Harry Potter, even though it's very pretty. Not a toad either. Got no. Dragon toad, hurricane toad. Oh, so it's going to be it's owl or a cat. Mm, I think. 
I might actually go for the cat. Even though I'm not really that much of a cat person. Oh, you can go back by going up. Well, that's nice. Thanks for telling me. A white cat, I suppose. Oh, someone's hanging on my finger here. <laughs> One of your housemates has cheated in a Hogwarts exam by using a self-spelling quill. Now he's become the top of the class in charms, beating you in second place. Professor Fitwick is suspicious of what happened. He draws you to one side after his lesson, asks you whether or not your classmate used a forbidden quill. What do you do? Lie and say you don't know, but hope that somebody else <laughs> tells Professor Flitwick truth, probably. Tell Professor Flitwick that he ought to ask your classmate and resolve to tell your classmate that if he doesn't tell the truth. Well, sounds like a good option as well. Tell the truth. Is your class if your classmate is prepared to win by cheating, he deserves to be found out. Unless you are both in the same house, any points he loses will be regained by you by coming first in his place. I don't think you should think about the points in this game. You would not wait to be asked to tell Professor Flitwick the truth. If you knew that somewhere he was using a forbidden quill, you would tell the teacher before the exam started. Um, I think I would go with this one. Like... Ask the classmate to tell him, and if uh, left or right, definitely right. I don't know why I like right more than left. I'm in Gryffindor! Well, I did not expect that. Well, I'm fighting a fierce battle over here while doing the test, so I suppose in a way that's true. Isn't it? You know. First you bite, then you lick me again, and then you bite again. What's up with that? Yeah, I'm fighting a lion here, it's true. I should be in Gryffindor. What do you even want? Oh. <laughs> okay, Ace. That's good. That's enough. No, no, I love you too. Wait. So, <laughs> let me know what houses you were sorted in. I'm curious to know. And uh, I'll put the link in the description or in the comments, whatever. And somewhere. <laughs> And ow, oh, that actually hurts. Uh, ouch, Charlie. Ouch. Oh my god, I'm so old. <laughs> so let me know. So, and uh, please tell me what you want to see next. Wow. Still going on there. You have like 10,000 bones lying through your house for you to chew. And you never pick one of those, but you bite my fingers. Oh my god, Debra. She is adorable. Look at her. Look at her, the little pain monster. She looks so fat in camera. I guess it does add 10 pounds. Oh. Let me know what kind of tests you would like to see me do in the future. What are you curious to know about me? Apparently I'm a Gryffindor. Okay, well, I'll take it. Doesn't seem like... Ow! God damn. Ow, that really hurts. Be nice. Doesn't seem like... You can steer the direction, mostly, in the test. Well, some answers are very stereotypical. Slytherin, but uh, most of them are... Uh, I don't know. So, thanks for watching. I'll see, I'll see you next time. Bye-bye. <laughs> oh, by the way, be sure to click that little bell next to the subscribe, subscribe area, because then you get a notification if I upload. I'm going to moan now, too. She does that when, when she's playing. I throw a bell. She's gonna be like, like a fucking grandma. <laughs> they say she's two and a half years old, but I don't believe it. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Oh, boy, boy. oh, my hair looks almost blonde in the camera now. Still red though. I think it's because of the lightning. I don't know what's so bright. Maybe it's because the sun is shining. I don't know.